Hey, people. Intrate 3v3. Catherine, purification plant, blue team. Couple of tech marines. First up is this fella with just a bunch of lines. And we have Gaz. These guys start with a bolt gun, can support with structures and repair, even get a melee weapon going. Do they have the same color scheme? Pretty much. It's going to be confusing. And rounding off this team is Sir Gunter the Kaiser as a Warp Spider X arcade teleporting hero fighting in ranged combat by default with a capping and harassing some powerful control. Red team, it's Noisy as a war boss, a melee hero walking through objects, very good offense, disruption and support from the front lines alongside. Vale as a plague champion starts off with a damage over time bolt gun, can get melee weapons, some strong utility and support, can also repair. We have the... Death Guard Elite scheme here, recolored looks like. And more orcs rounding off the teams with Grim and a Commando Knob. An infiltrating hero that shoots you, stabs you, and blows you up. Orky style begins with a twin link shooter headbutting some Space Marines over there. Some Darker as well. Back towards the west side, a contested victory point over here. The Naturals are through the mid. Warboss can have a go at the Warp Spider. Nope, just teleports away teleports through there. Banshee's looking for a nasty flank maybe. Meanwhile in the mid, Plague Champion and some Chaos Space Marines with Bolt of Gunfire. Heretics in amongst the Marines. Getting a model. Maybe two. No, they don't get a second. Howling Banshees have found the Warboss. Trying to bait that stomp out. Warboss gets bored of capping. Wants to crush things with his big old axe. Sluggers in amongst the Banshees. Banshees in a bit of trouble now. Big trouble, actually. I think that model is far enough away that they're going to make it. Sluggers also having to retreat, though. Warboss now crushing some Guardians. The Warp Spider Exarch. Where did he go? Oh, teleported into some shooters to tie them up. Maybe wipe them out, actually. These shooter boys down to 26 hit points. Teleports through and gets them with a sink kill. Look at that. That's pretty awesome. I don't know why he teleported at the end there. That was very superfluous. No way, says Noisy. Yes way, says Sir Gunter. Sluggers retreating through the east side. Looks like they are going to make it. Noisy with some... Oh, just got some more Sluggers up. Okay. To try and grab this wreck point. They're both basically contested on this western edge. Slightly natural. In the mid. Power is what are you doing mr plague champion not even shooting it power's turning red for chaos plague champion wasn't interested in shooting the power node but is interested in shooting some loyalist tactical marine scum devastators in now for gaz just marines for the fellow with all the lines and a turret coming in tarantula turret covering the power in the northeast and this whole approach as you can see banshees are yelling which means they found a fight Suppressing with the war shout. Warp Spider Exarch got Noise Marine there and goes down. War boss is quite low, but isn't too afraid of a couple of Guardian squads. Those guys just flee immediately. Trying to find a way around these Devastators. Tech Marine kind of getting close. These pipes make it a bit awkward to try and fire around them. Backing off here is Vale. They do have a turn of war on those Chaos Space Marines. War boss is eventually persuaded to leave by the Guardians. Well done, fellas. What are these sluggers up to now? They're getting shotgun blasted. Might eat a grenade. There it is. Oh, it's a bit too far back. Expected them to back off and maybe try to dodge the grenade, but actually go into it. Tech Marine. This is Gaz with Bionics trying to get a revive. There we go. Gives him a chunk of hit points, so Gunter's back up with improved targeters and, of course, heavy gauge death spinner to annoy the war boss even more than he naturally is. Turret says no, Mr. Commando. Can't go any further. Oh, there's hide the boys on the sluggers. They don't have burners, though, which would have been useful for burning down the turret. But all they need to do is get into melee range, and the turret can't fire on them, but there are going to be shotgun scouts around and they're getting their sergeant so they can spot pesky infiltrated units there's a sergeant now they're spotted so the turret can fire on them commando's in behind it but couldn't really do much by himself 
some blob cap in here. The finest blob cap in, though. The Emperor's finest blob cap in. Double Devastators for Gaz. Can the Noise Marines do some Noise Marine? No, they can't. Howling Banshee's coming in from a flank. Those power weapons really nasty on retreat for heavy infantry. Warboss getting heavy gauged. It doesn't do damage, I don't think. But it does stun lock you in. It used to knock you back constantly, which was incredibly annoying because it meant you couldn't retreat sometimes. Shotgun blast. Shotgun blasted double sluggers there. That was pretty effective. And a bunch of shootiness gets rid of the double sluggers there. 2v1 against Noisy. They should be able to get the west side now blue. Oh, scouts. Scouts, what are you up to, fellas? Were they looking for a grenade there? They just got darker to death, and I think... Yeah, they had shotguns and a sergeant for Gaz there going down. Not sure what their malfunction was. Here's crack shots on the Warp Spider X up. 30% more damage and 30% more range, I believe. And with improved targeters and that heavy gauge DPS, they are packing a bit of a punch. Here's some raptors up, though, for Vel. Wow, double raptors. CSM into Noise Marines into double raptors. This is a thing. There's some Nurgler worship. <laughs> Why dodge the grenade? We could just worship Nurgle a bit. And that was a mucus discharge breath of Nurgle, I think. Yes, it was. 435 to 451. Someone just yelled die. Was it the scouts? I don't know. West side is turning blue. The red team are here with double raptors. It's a dump to jump the double devastators, of course, but these guys are in a bit of bother. They jumped a bit early. And Heretic's white. Those vengeance rounds are very nasty. Because I don't think... I'm not sure if they care how far away you are from the heavy bolter. I think they just do tons of damage all the time. Contested power is red on the eastern edge. No node, though. Orcs just kind of hanging out. Unable to effectively push against the tarantula turret. Some more tactical marines coming in for this tech marine fella. He's got a mastercrafted bolter too. They can now reinforce off that drop pod. Oh, here's a death dread getting burners and bits to just walk up to the turret and burn it down. Space marines can respond very quickly to vehicles in tier 2, but they need to get to tier 2 first. They waited for the burners and bits, and here we go. Are they going to purchase any missile launchers here? Don't see any on the way. They must have something specific in mind that they want to save for, but the Death Dread makes very short work of the turret, and then they can push through. They've got a Pain Boy over here too. 413 to 439. Falcon on the way for Sargunta. Looks like Gaz's Tech Marines fallen on the west side for now. That was a powerful sweep. And powerful it was. Sluggers didn't like it. Got their knob leader up, though. And that was unstable fuel injection just exploding that slugger. And they can now crack down the drop pod so they can't reinforce off it anymore. Through the middle, we have a war truck from Noisy. Has the reinforced plating. And there's some sluggers inside of it, of course. Double Raptors are still with us. The Heretics have not been replaced. Being used without their aspiring champions, the Raptors, for now, which is fine because they still get that suppression on landing, of course. Here's the Falcon. Support the vehicle for Eldar. Much like the War Truck, it allows you to reinforce it. It packs much better firepower than the War Truck can actually damage vehicles with one of those weapons. I'm not sure which one it is, actually. 413 to 403. Howling Banshee is coming through with an Exarch who has a fancy heavy melee spear. Weird Boy on the way for Grim. Looters on the way for Noisy. And the War Truck needs repairing. Here's a revive now. Should get level 3 to the Warp Spider, I think. There we go. Doing some more DPS now and everything else. We've got a knife for the commando. Assassin's knife. Oh, double missile launch attacks. 
and the death thread is still alive. Meanwhile, in the mid, some jumping raptors. But again, these devastators are far enough back to get some suppression going, reinforcing off the Falcon. Scouts need to run from the CSM. Level 2 Plague Champion out of cover. Oh, he's got some light cover, apparently. I'm not sure where from. Oh, there's a little ditch there. He's covering his knees, and apparently that's light cover. Now he runs away. Noisy trying to take the Western VP, but was getting torn up there. War Truck could be in a bit of trouble, chased by a Falcon. But that was a beamy shot. Big old beamy shot there on the, on the Falcon. Banshees run. Grenades go in. Sluggers get back into the war truck. 413 to 367. Walks for Exarch. He's going to be darker to death. I think he was trying to teleport at the end there. Couldn't make it out. The tech marine with all the lines is getting a plasma cannon. On that east side. These tactical marines are in a bit of trouble. But sluggers have to leave because vengeance rounds are painful. We now have a melee tech marine for Gaz with the axe of the Mechanicum. Bionics, of course, giving him more melee damage, 20% more, more health and the powerful sweep. Can also get the shield up for some more durability. Ouch. Last master hit there. Dreadnought up for Gaz as well. Can the tech marine get into combat? Dodges the blast master shot. War boss goes down can counter initiate these double raptors there's a jump they both jumped in the same spot this is not generally what you want to do melee tech marine is there banshees are there that might have been a good spot to throw down touch of nurgle but those guys are going to get away breath of nurgle may have saved them well maybe not banshee's still chasing and they take out the raptors they may not have needed to because of the barrage. There's a noxious cloud. Almost wipes those devastators down to 10 hit points. Some big plays there. Veil goes tier 3. I don't know if the double raptors paid off. I mean, it's it's hard. It's, it's, it's difficult to make that work. Even in a 3v3, we can get away with some silly things. Double raptors is kind of tough. They're going to get swarmed and focused. And it's hard with Chaos to support them a huge amount, although the Plague Champion can do it better than most with his healing. Sneaky Sluggers with Hide the Boys tearing through the Devastator Plasma Cannon fellas. Can they finish them? They can. Those guys only have a 20% reduced um, melee resistance. Did they not use high powered shot there? I don't think they did. Well, maybe they did, but they didn't stop the death, did it? 413322. Death Thread is still around. West side looking nice and quiet for the blue team though. Energy shields going up. Some repairs for the Dreadnought with that very powerful and dangerous assault cannon. Tier 3 for Grim. War Truck taking a bunch of fire. Falcon doing some good work on it. There's some repairs though. Beamy sets up. I don't think it has. Oh, it does have vision on the Falcon. Raptors jumping in with Melter Guns. Melter Bomb on the Falcon, is that enough? It is enough. Down goes the Falcon. Nicely done by Bell. War Boss lost the indicator for him. Level 3. Getting heavy gauged. And shot by an Assault Cannon. Doesn't like it. Fake Champion is level 3. With that mucus discharge, double sluggers can pile onto the banshees, eating a little bit of friendly fire. That was a breath of noble heal you saw there going off. Tech Marine mixing it up now. Oh, they've gone for the orbs with the Omnissiah. I don't think they can fight double sluggers though very effectively. There's another noxious cloud in the back lines. 413, 2740, Stern Guard Veterans not really getting involved in the fighting. Tech Marine goes down. Here we go. Now they're moving. They may have just only just upgraded over there. What's going on east side? Death Tread stood around. Level 2. Took some damage though. Double missile launchers will do that. Oh, you also have Bionics. That's right. Tier 3 for Sragunta. 
They've got some walk spiders up. They have been called in. Grim has got some a knob squad going on. Oh, this thing just got haywired by the walk spiders. But this fella doesn't have power blades or anything. Has faster teleporting. Oh, crack shot on the stern guard. Trying to use their vengeance rounds. But couldn't quite manage it. There's some more heavy gauge. You need to be using Kraken Bolts against those Raptors, fellas. They're using Hellfire, which does nothing. And now they back off. There's Kraken Bolts in. Can't do much, says Noisy. Chaos Predator on the way for Vel. Is everyone Tier 3? Oh, Gaz is in Tier 3. That Dreadnought was a big chunk of power. 120 without the Assault Cannon. Lots of infiltration going on. Commandos. Oh, they've got Mando Stab them their melee upgrade and they can infiltrate naturally so can the commando and hide the boys is on the knob squad Mina and Green are on the way they going to power bash what are they going to do here I'm guessing they get a big nasty infiltrated flank going everything's spotted by the scouts of course ruining the surprise but they can't stand against it some friendly fire of course from the weird boy 413212 slug, Sluggers Power Bastion. They can get a decap on the VP here. Meanwhile, West Side is still blue. War Truck looks like it's going to go down. Maybe. Oh, Banshees can't stay in, though. It does go down. Banshees also fall. Big, powerful sweep hit, but the Tech Marine goes down again. Big VP lead for the blue team. But they're taking some losses. Tech Marine now getting a Land Raider Redeemer. The line guy. Warbots chasing around some Guardians. What's he going to do now? Trying to hit the Warp Spiders. Bunch of Daka coming in. Gets heavy gauged again. Maybe that's why Noisy hasn't invested in the Warbots war gear. They keep getting heavy gauged. East side looking very red and orky right now. There's high powered shot on the on the weird boy. Knob squad will go for the decap. Death Dread is kind of hanging out here. Decap to power. And a level 3 commando getting the better combat kit. And we got commandos with their knob leader who gets a heavy melee huge ammo over there. I think the others are power melee, I always forget. Someone couldn't remind me, maybe. Don't get to see these fellas very often. They're quite good, though. Location Have grenades and stuff they can chuck. Fire Prism on the way for Sergunta. More noise marines for Veil. There's tier 3 for Gaz. Can the war boss kill this Warp Spider Exarch? Nope, teleports away. Doesn't retreat, though. I hear the Land Raider. There it is. Blue team can now retreat back to this Land Raider and reinforce off it. It's got some nasty weaponry as well, especially at short range with those big flamers on the sides. Red team are going to take the west side, though. Oh, no. Oh, that's just the Falcon. I, th I thought that was the Fire Prism already down. Fire Prism just hit the field now. You've got Melter Gun Raptors with their aspiring champion who also gets a Melter Gun. Getting a bit of a heal there. Sluggers must run. I think they'll be alright. There's the 2 to 1 for red. Can they hold on? Over 200 VPs to make up. Sluggers trying to bash this. And a venerable dreadnought dropped in by the line guy. Rocket launcher commando though. Help deal with these vehicles. Level 3. West side, blue team getting on it. Stone guard looking for a cap, I think. They have that fast capping. Can they get this dreadnought down? They can. Raptors need to run. Can they run? Crack. Venerable dreadnought with that inspiration on kill there. Big fight brewing on the west side, eh? Line guys just showed up here with everything. Venerable and the land raider. And his marines. Stick bombs thrown in by the melee commandos, I think. Oh, no, there's actual stick bombers over there. Those are stun bombs they chucked in there. 
Going for the Land Raider. There's a Nob Squad on it. And Melee Commando's Death Dread goes down. Venerable Dreadnought. Was going to go after those Orcs, I think, but they've run. How did he get stunned over here, Mr. Watswider? I'm not sure. Oh, is it something that the Commandos can do? Do they have a stun bomb as well or something? I know they have some tricky stuff. Oh, there's a Chaos Predator down over here. I think you can see what happened to that thing. Battle Wagon on the way for Noisy. Land Raider's now gone mid with some repair support, of course. Tech Marine and stuff. Does anyone have a nuke? Noisy does have a rock they can drop. How much actual anti-vehicle do they have? They do have a beamy. Needs to move up, though. They have those Melter Raptors. They have the Nob Squad, of course, of Grim. And the Commando Nob. There's the Melter Raptors. Melter Bomb on rear armor. Good hit. They're not tying up those Raptors. Fire Prism does get a shot. Warboss trying to cap. And they're getting suppressed pretty badly. I don't know if they can finish it. They can't. Double Sluggers just did something nefarious over there. But I'm not sure what. Battle Wagon is in. There's an Orbital. That may wipe. It definitely wipes one of those shooter boys. Does it wipe the Noise Marines? Oh, that may have. It did wipe the Noise Marines, but the other shooters did survive. Chaos Terminator is now in for Vel with Combi Bolters and Power Fists. Could try teleporting onto that Fire Prism, maybe. Vimi getting some good hits, eh? And now we have some Plague Marines up for Vel. Weird Boy on the way for Grim. Where is the Battle Wagon? Well, it's got full of Orcs now and it's moving up. Terminator's capping. We have a D Cannon in play. There's a Singularity, and there's a D Cannon shot there. Singularity grabs a couple of Plague Marines, but they'll be alright. They're tough fellas. Land Raider's getting some repairs. I'd say don't overly push the Land Raider here. It's in the mid. It's going to be in a nothing location unless you want to push through. But I don't think they're going to do that. And he can still go around from the eastern flank. Raptor's jumping in. And promptly leaves because the venerable dreadnought was there. Look at this though. That was a haywire on the battle wagon, shutting down the weapons and stuff. Double sluggers inside of it. Take out the webway. 355 five to 115. They can get the warp spider down. There he goes. No more heavy get heavy gauge death spinners. For now anyway. Heavy gauge filaments. Avatar on the way for Sugunta. Triple cap for red. Pushing through the mid now. Commando tried to get a... Oh, they did get the, the cap. That's uh, hence the triple cap, Tomas. Battle wagon could be in a bit of bother here. multi melter Land Raider and that tank and the Fire Prism. He's trying to take out the Fire Prism, it looks like. 303 to 115. Gonna take it out with a big zap gun and they get it but I, I don't think it's gonna get away down it goes last cannons up on the predator tank another land raider redeemer terminators casually back away they have their auto cannon in play those scouts may not get out they got out crafty grenade there red team backing off trying to consolidate their position now warbots getting very angry at nothing Heavy armor's in. Another battle wagon away. Maybe that's why I was angry, because the, the battle wagon got destroyed. Some vengeance rounds, but this is a lot of stuff. And there's a foot of pork. Crunch. Big old crunch from Grimm's Weird Boy. Venerable. Getting melted. And rocketed. And fighting a knob squad as well may not be able to survive this blessing of the Omnisize up repairing all allied vehicles on the map from one of those tech marines down goes the venerable 
is now in stoicism mode. But I'll try to avoid it when it's been all stoic like this. Because it hurts. Nob Squad trying to get onto the land radar. Rocket launcher getting some hits in too. Look how low it's getting. I don't have to call the boys. Double warp spiders coming in for Sukunta. There's the avatar now. Avatar provides very powerful area of effect buffs for allied infantry. Suppression immunity and damage resistance and damage output goes up, I think. Warp spider Exarch, level 8 this fella. Gets the cap on the western VP. 2 to 1 now for blue again. There is a second battle wagon and it's full of orcs. War boss. Oh, war boss is inside of it as well, I think. More plague marines for Vel. Always a solid choice in a late game, I think. War boss gets out. Runs up to the avatar and gets Wailing Doom. Double cap now for blue. Some tactical marines grabbed the VP. Well, not quite grabbed it. They got the decap and then he died. There's a rapid pain. Steal the double. It's a very crafty decap there from the line guy. Might be enough to see them through actually because they're applying pressure on the west side which means red team can't get onto the VP very easily. Can't get close to it. What is this though? Some sneaky commandos decapping. Can perhaps buy them some time. There's a one-to-one -one cap now. Avatar getting very low. Double Plague Marines getting shots in. And there's Terminators teleporting in to finish it off. Down goes the Avatar. It's actually the Battle Wagon, I think. Got the last hit. So much for Red Team not able to get onto the VP easily. They are there. And they take out a Land Raider. Is that a Laz Cannon getting shots? Laz Cannon died. I think they came from the middle, did they? Those fellas rotated out through the mid. Double cap now for red. Nob squad on the way for Grim. That's going to be their second Nob squad. These guys are level 2. Fully upgraded. And the second land raid is in big trouble. Because the rocket launcher's getting hits. Terminator's getting hits. And down it goes. Nob squad will also in there, of course. A rocks just to make sure. Has that broken the blue team now? Battle wagon did go down again. Double Plague Marines are also on that Land Raider. It's a really nasty combo. With the snaring missile launcher of the Plague Marines and the Nob, Nob Squad chasing down stuff. Just crunch the Tech Marine to death. Got double Predators for the Line Guy, that's what they've got. 204 to 46. Red Team are capping Western VP thanks to Chaos Terminators. Crafty Walk Spider trying to harass this VP, I think. But he goes down for his trouble. Who's this fallen over? That's the war boss. Got a power claw, looks like. Yep. Got power claw and heavy armor. I'm not sure if they have a accessory over there. Does he have one? Can't see if he's got something on his back. I don't think so. There's another dead orc laying on top of it. Here's a fire prism. Big booms for those sluggers. Coming to res, says Vel. Res who? Oh, they're both kind of close to each other. Can red team hold on? Orcs aren't amazing at holding contested VPs. They can certainly fight them. But they're not known for like digging in and defending an area. They're most more likely to be on the front foot, which can lead to overextension and having to retreat. Fake champion can sure do it though. It might be worth getting a shrine up over here actually. Who needs defense when you've got a knob squad piling through with pain boy support? Doesn't seem like they have the um Implant equipment though. There's another venerable dreadnought from the line guy again. Double cap for red. Swarming the west side. I don't see anything going for the mid. Oh, Warp Spider's going for it maybe. I think Warp Spider's going for that. Going for that VP. They need to plant something there. 
that can fight the warp spider. Level 7 plague champion. There's the one to one. They have spotted it. There's a right in me crosshairs. Painboy runs. Got to the cap. They don't have any fast capping units here, so sluggers will take it. Still in play, though, the warp spider could get right back on it. Need to plant something here, as I said. Chucks out a stun bomb. But it's dodged. Was that crack shot? Yeah, put crack shot on himself there. Scout's having a got the VP on the west side, but they couldn't quite manage it. Another battle wagon for Noisy and some looters. With a death gun for now. Warp Spider's on it again. Sneaky sluggers though found him. Has to teleport away. Double Warp Spider's helping him out. Trying to finish off the weird boy and they get it. Who promptly explodes on them. And there's a double knob squad from Grim. Oh, they're going to try and push through the mid here and get a decap. It's kind of empty. It might leave the west open, though. A lot of stuff on the west side. Venerable Dreadnought, double tanks, fire prism, and a land raider. War boss. Oh, it does have a trophy rack. Goes after the tech marine, it looks like. Big old fight here. 82 to 46. A big swarm of orcs coming in, including double knob squad. A rock's dropped as well. Down goes the Land Raider. Venerable Dreadnought doing what it can against the knobs. But it's taking too much damage from other sources and goes down. West side decaps. Is that an Eldritch? It is. Oh, it looks like it's mostly going to be dodged. Oh, they got some good hits in there. Got some decent hits. It did shut down the battle wagon as well, I think. That's what kind of gets a shot there. Single for the blue, you know. Look at that. Look at this. Red team too heavy on the west side. I mean, they were countering a threat. Double cap for blue. No, that's dangerously low VPs for red team. Dangerously low. Have the blue team outmaneuvered them here? They bloody might have. Down to 16 VPs. I don't see anything going back for it. They've got shotgun scouts with a grenade as well to knock stuff off it. Looks like the blue team have this. With that maneuverability of the warp spider. And also gas through the mid there. They get the double cap at the end. On two naturals. Well played. Orbital on this look. No, says noisy. Okay, let's look at these heroes. Level 7 tech marine here with master crafted bolter i think gaz with a melee tech marine down level seven also level nine warp spider x are very effective game from sir gunter war boss was level five with a big old power claw level eight plague champion didn't have any other up upgrades so just a mucus discharge and a very effective commando i thought level eight for grim hey happy guys it was a hell of a game thank you all for watching hope you enjoyed this one and i'll see you next time